we present to you the first subtopic of the last chapter in Form 4 Chemistry Textbook, Alloy. You might be wondering, what is alloy? Alloy is a mixture of two or more elements, where the main element is a metal. Did you know that many objects around you are made from alloys? Pewter to make souvenirs, glaramine, make the body of an aeroplane, bronze for medals, brass to make keys, steel for body of a car, stainless steel to make cutlery, and also the national monument was built using bronze. Now, let us compare the properties of alloys and pure metals. The alloying process helps to prevent the corrosion of metal and alter the properties of a pure metal to make it harder and stronger. As you can see, the surface of pure metal is dull, while alloy is shiny. Pure metal gets easily corroded while alloy is resistant to corrosion. Lastly, pure metal is less hard than alloy. Hmm, you might wonder, how did this change happen? You must know that the strength and hardness of alloys are based on the arrangement of particles. Now, let's see. A pure metal is made up of one type of atom, which means same size and arranged in an orderly arrangement. When force is applied, the layers of atoms in the metal easily slide over each other. This causes pure metals to be ductile and easily pulled into fine wires. Pure metals are also malleable and its shape can be easily changed. There are empty spaces between the atoms in a pure metal. When force is applied, the layer of atoms in a metal will slide to fill the empty spaces and form a new structure. While for alloy, an alloy is formed when foreign atoms are mixed with the pure metal. These foreign atoms are different in size compared to the atoms in the pure metal. Hence, the orderly arrangement of atoms in a pure metal is disrupted. This makes it difficult for the layers of atoms in an alloy to slide over each other when force is applied. Please keep in mind that uses of alloys is based on the composition and properties of the alloy producers. Alloys are made for specific purposes. Scientists change the elementary composition to produce alloys with different properties. Now, let's take a look at the example of alloys and its composition, properties, and uses. First, Trillium is made up of 90% aluminium, 2% copper, 2% magnesium, and 1% manganese, which is stronger than pure aluminium, low density, and does not rust. These properties make Trillium used to make body of aeroplanes, electric cables, and racing bicycles. For bronze, it is made up of 90% copper mixed with 10% of tin. It is stronger than pure copper, does not rust and shiny. Bronze is used to make medals, monuments, and trophies. Next, brass is made up of 70% of copper and 10% of zinc. The properties of brass are stronger than pure copper, does not rust, and shiny. Although the properties of brass and bronze are the same, but bronze are harder than brass. Brass is used to make musical instruments, door knobs, and keys. Steel Steel is made up of 98% iron and 0.2 to 2% carbon. It is also known as carbon steel. It is stronger and harder than iron and malleable. There are three types of steel which are low carbon steel, average carbon steel, and high carbon steel. Steel is used in structure of buildings, railway tracks, and body of cars. Next, stainless steel is made up of 70% iron, 18% chromium, 8% nickel, and 1% carbon. It is stronger than pure iron and resistant to corrosion. This alloy is used to make cutlery, sinks, and surgical instruments. Last, we have pewter. This alloy consists of 95% tin, 3.5% antimony, and 1.5% copper. It is stronger than pure tin, does not rust and shiny. Pewter is used to make decorative ornaments, 
trophies, and souvenirs. Now, let's sum up everything. Alloy is a mixture of two or more elements where the main element is a metal. It is harder, stronger, and resistant to corrosion. Examples, duralumin, bronze, brass, steel, stainless steel, and pewter. According to teacher Mira, alloy is quite hard than the other subtopic. So make sure you study hard and smart, okay? That's all from us. Thank you for lending your ears. Bye and Assalamualaikum.